G'day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome here to the Meta South Australian Rock League Regional Finals here for the 2021 season. Of course, you were here with us earlier. We had a fantastic League of Legends best of three action, but now we're here for the best of seven. Rock League here now to wrap up our evening of Meta Esports content. You're still joined here by Baz as one of your casters, now joined by Mr. Dallin. Dallin, welcome to the cast. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's been a minute since I've been in the saddle uh my hairline has exponentially received uh yeah. receded back so that's that's a bonus my hair's gotten longer or shorter beard's longer i think it's about the same my actually. beard's grown it's hair's negative. gone back yeah so. you've gone like this but this has gone negative yeah it's it's Very sort great. of the it's the negative you get from getting a magnificent beard <laughs> I'm still trying, guys. I can't, I can't beat that. I'm, I'm still trying. I'm still He'll get there eventually. Yeah, it has what been is... a while since we've done a quick cast, hasn't it? It's, it's... Been, what, 2019, I think, was the last time. Yeah, been a couple of years. I mean, 2020, you couldn't really do a whole lot. So, yeah, it's been, I think it was like, what, early 2019. So, been a minute. Yeah, state of the world, unfortunately. It is what it is. But we're finally back now. Get to cast we are. the Rock League once again on behalf of Meta. And, of course, to support Meta, to help out Meta, we've got our fantastic sponsors as well with Torrent University, Optus, and MSI. So if you're into gaming and esports, make sure to learn all about the Torrent University's amazing programs they have available, of course, in their game design, game programming, 3D design and animation, and graphic and communication design courses. Of course, as always, we've had these sponsors on board for a number of years now, and they've helped us out so much all throughout the years, putting on some amazing action for you guys. So big thanks to these guys once again for still being here and still supporting us throughout the years here. But we're here for Rock League now, Dallin. It's time to go here. Nazareth Catholic College and St. Michael's College. I mean, Nazareth, we would have expected to see in the league action. They've been one of the bigger league oriented schools, I want to say, yeah. for a number of years now. They actually didn't make it to the finals the first time in a big upset, but they're here for Rock League instead. And St. Michael's College, another big team of finalizing here in the finals for Rock League. It's it's going to be an awful proving ground for these guys, right? We used to sing only, right, year after year yeah. after year, get these huge wins. I mean, we even saw in some of our own big local events, right, when they'd rock up. And yeah. We've seen, and basically with them and one or two other teams, right, always at the top. But do you think we might see another only like team come out of SA again with these guys? Or do you think it might be a little bit more even this time around, more close competition? I'm not too sure. I've been out of the loop for a little bit now, but I remember Unley being like very good. Like they were top three consistently. I was making it to the finals. They were very aggressive, and I don't think people knew how to counter that. So I'm sort of I'm hoping to see a team like that because it was quite fun to see like an aggressive team versus someone that you know just couldn't deal with that. So I'm hoping that we're going to get some interesting matches here. Uh, not really. Um, this is going to be the first time I've actually seen any of the teams that are participating mm -hmm. today. So it will hopefully be a very entertaining match to watch. Mm, that's the same here as well. I mean, we're, we're going in fresh, going in blind for these matches, and that's not the best part, because that's the thing with Rock League, right? It's obviously so explosive. But you'd be surprised at the different ways you can tackle it. Like, yeah. aggressive. Of course, being one, we've seen other teams, you know, just be more controlling, right? Control the boost. We're going to look for more of those demos as well. Some good, some old, defense some play. good old cheeky aerials. Yeah. That's always fun. Well. Always keen to see some of Always the keen. players where they can sneak those ones in as well. But we're going to show you, of course, the guys who are playing here live today for the regional finals. Of course, first up is Nazareth Catholic College here, NCCA. Yeah, uh, so on Nazareth's team, we currently have the second Todd, and then regular is just Todd. Just Todd. Just Todd. <laughs> uh, and then Lazy Donut uh, and Noodle Master. Apparently, there's, it says four here. Yeah, so, so. Uh, I mean, what's up? They got a sub. There you go. They, they came prepared. They just, they're just here prepared. They, they know what they're doing. Uh, and then on the second team, which is St. Michael's, we have Skits, Golden CD, and Swiper. Don't mind me looking down at my phone just because my brain is small and I can't remember names. So, but yeah, so some interesting names there. The second Todd. Second Todd and Todd. Do you Todd. think they're related? Do you think they know each other? Do you think, do you think they're good friends? If, they, if they're related and they've both got the same that's first name. name. Um, that's rough. That's, 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 a, that's a rough family. It's I'm rough sorry family. if you are related. We did not mean to insult you. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I mean, either way, right? They're showing up. They're ready. They're flexing with their names. They're, they're good to go. They're ready to go. I mean, we're they are. Best of seven format. We'll be jumping into that match ASAP as soon as possible. Yeah. To get things underway here, guys. Uh, but, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm keen to get things underway, get things started for our Rock League regional final competition. Of course, as you mentioned, now, you know, it was the only track for so many years, and even nationals as well. They were on 
Zanzibar Panthers. Zanzibar was picked up by these guys. So we're keen to see you know, the new blood, the next generation, and see where things are going to go. But how do you think we might see round one? I mean, different game but by comparison. You know, with yeah. the league, we normally see these best of formats where the teams are very passive. I want to I wanna say, especially yeah. when you get towards these big finals, right? They might not be used to, well, first off, being on string. Oh yeah, that's already one that's thing. that's already that's always something to be somewhat. I guess you don't even have to be nervous about it, but it's somewhat nerve wracking if you're like on stream and you're not used to that sort of thing. You sort of got people watching you, and then you just sort of got that little voice in the back of your head, like, yeah. "Oh God, yeah. I have to do well." Yeah. Like even me when we first booted up this stream, my brain just went, "Ha, no," and just <laughs> just nothing started working. But yeah, I think you get pretty comfortable with it. So I think they just have to focus on the game, don't focus on anything else, and they should be all right. Mm, but yeah, of course they're gonna get to that stage, right? It's those yeah. first time around, and that's where we could see maybe the team that I, I want to say gets into the groove earlier on, if that's yeah. the way to put it, uh, might get that advantage, right? And that can also affect the mental state. When you go two rounds down, three rounds down, of course, here when you get to big rivalry finals, multiple rounds, right? Best of seven. But when they start racking up those five minute games, I feel like they can drag out sometimes. Oh, well, we've had games that have dragged out. We've gone into overtime by like 20 minutes, and it's just yeah. like, I've been sitting there, and it's like, can someone do something? Yeah. <laughs> Please get a goal. Please get it a goal. It is 3 a.m. I want to go home. home. <laughs> <laughs> but also, those matches are always fun to watch as well. They are. Going down to that wire, because normally when we get to that point, the skill levels, the match, it's fantastic action. Yes, it drags out or it can drag out, especially when there's multiple rounds after that. That's still yet to be played. But that's when, again, you get to see not only the strategies come into action, but again, we talk about the team mentality. Fatigue is going to be such a thing yes. to look out for yes. here as well, especially with a format like this. And even so, like we said, yes, regional finals. Yes, you're going to be the regional final champion. But there's a national stage still coming up as well. There is. A couple weeks away as well. You're going to have all these other states checking out your VODs, especially the finals VODs, and they're going to pick them apart as much as possible. So you've got, that's like you said, right, that voice in the back of your head, all those little things you're going to worry about and, and get on top of, right? And just can't just be like, ignore all of it, just focus on the gameplay. Basically, the tip I can give today, don't be nervous about today. Be <laughs> nervous about the next one, because yeah. <laughs> uh, that's, that's a bit more of the struggle to, you know, the nationals part of it. The regionals, just like low tier and then you have to be like oh now we have to beat other yeah. states yeah that's a problem focus on that just don't be nervous about this focus on the nationals yeah All right. that's a mindset to have right then we get to nationals that don't worry about nationals what about the world championship yeah exactly yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> i mean you never know you never know right? never know um i believe uh we're, we're getting ready to jump into our matchup here very shortly we should be getting the players live in the lobby, ready to go. Of course, if you are just joining us, Nazareth Catholic College taking on St. Michael's College here. So, it's going to be a fantastic matchup. You know, we brought up, I want to bring up about Nazareth like, just a little bit here, Dal, you know, coming in. We talked about before, they're more, I'll, I'll say they're league oriented only because I've had such good success in the league competition in meta. We're seeing them here in Rocket League. I'll just ask you, transferable skills. Do you think they might be taking a lot from, you know, the success they've had in league coming into this, of course. There are two different types of games, but the stress levels can be just as high. Well, I guess one thing you just obviously need is communication. In league, if you don't have communication, you're just going to flunk. Like, mm. this, you're not going to win. Like, so communication is obviously still going to be a big part in no matter what video game you play, really, if it's a multiplayer game, obviously. Uh, but so if they have that communication, should be okay. Uh, I guess aggressive aggressive gameplay could also be a factor that could transfer over defensiveness, anything like that. Uh, just any sort of transferable skill that you would have for pretty much any multiplayer game is just going to transfer over into Rocket League. Mm. So, yeah, I guess, I don't know. I'd, I've never seen the teams. I don't know how they play. I don't know how they work. So it's just going to be an interesting game, really. Oh, we're, here. we're ready. We're, we're finally here. ready to jump into game here. We've just gone straight off. Kickoffs happen straight away right now. We're in our first game. Best of seven here. NCCA will start us off on the blue side. Here we have red, the Red Barons, I guess we're calling them here, over on the orange side here as well. And uh, so far, between the likes of St. Michael's, we're seeing a lot of pressure for St. Michael's. They're getting, they're getting that big control here. Stuff. Well, it's already pretty back and forth. I've seen it pretty much even in both the oh, orange oh. and blue side. That was close. That was way too close. But yeah, so far, pretty balanced. So early on, they're both playing pretty aggressively. They've got the good defense there, though, as well. A couple of small aerials. Nothing too major. Yeah, I think they might be hiding that. 
I think they are. Yeah, they're just testing the waters at the moment. Although, I mean, there's been way too many close goals right there for both sides. Yeah. But, yeah, it's still... It seems pretty balanced so far. So, I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Yeah, obviously, a lot of these plays... You know, we see a lot of these high school leagues, right, where... They're, they're, they're at the top, they're, they're still a lot slower about the game. You can see a lot of teams uh, scout the bounce. I'll say that. Go First goal. CD. First goal of the series. For the Red Barons. That was, I don't know, it was like the defense was there, but I mean, how are you going to stop that? Like, they just snuff that one in there. Like that, the pack that just looked dodgy. That, that just looked dodgy. That was, that was scary. So let's just see how this pans out because like that was... I think that was just a bit unlucky for the blue side there. They just couldn't get to it in time. There was a couple of people trying to go for the ball there, just didn't really get the opportunity to hit it. So, still, still early on. It was an early goal. Yeah, minute 12 was actually the, the first goal we're going to get for this series. But now, of course, you're going to give them that advantage, that 1 0, right? I mean, they're more than happy. I mean, obviously, they want to go and secure that probably, but they're more than happy to just control the field with our right. Basically, all right, that's good. We got the goal. You've got to match this now. If you want to try and make it around. Taken to that overtime state for now, but you can already see a lot of these players scouring the field, taking as much boost as they can. It's like they're trying to keep it in that midfield section here. Great defense coming out of the Red Barons to secure that save, but I'm surprised to hear that one. Maybe it's the first show because she just talked about it. Just seems getting one at a time, we're not really getting any big setups here so far. Look at these demos coming out either. Not currently, but I mean, in previous games that we have seen played of Rocket League and any of the events that we've seen, there has been a couple games that have been similar to this where it could be one-sided, but then all of a sudden that next game is just a completely different story. Just the early on demo right there from the Barons. Uh, and not just that, like, as you were just saying as well, I was just about to say, Orange's defense is spectacular as NWCA just gets That's the sneaky one in there. I'm surprised that I can Kind of went, things like defense kind of went bad there, Red Baron side. So they will secure that one. They get it back to 1 1 here. Still 2.33 on the clock for our first round of best seven from the league action here in South Australia. A very even game going on at the moment, that's for sure. One goal, one goal apiece. Defense on both sides has been pretty even, it's been pretty nice to see. Uh, just, I guess their play styles actually seem very similar at the moment. But there's just a couple of things like that that I've noticed where they'll, they'll hit the ball out and it'll go straight into the centre and there'll be no one there to sort of collect it. Yeah, there's no follow-up. Yeah, there's there could be no there could be a bit of a downside for that. It's leaving them wide open for a couple easy shots, which is obviously going to be a very big risk to sort of take those shots. Out. And again, we keep bringing this up. Right? It's so important. I'll say roughly, especially for how far the the game is, we need to get a shot from the nerves. Yeah, I want to say the team the for the nerves coming into your first game, trying to be like, okay, what's this enemy team? What are they going to come out with? How much boost control are they going to go? How much how do they want to keep it in the air? Where's the skill in the air as well? Because you can, yeah, anyone can get it in the air, right? Anyone can get a shot. Okay. How well can you control it? Yeah. Fair? Fair. But, these guys. These guys yeah. know how to play the game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, where's your skill in the air? Because like I said, anyone can do a policy there, right? But, can you jog in the air, jog? All these types of things start to be honed out. Still almost sneaking in there to the side of the St. Michael's uh, College at the moment. And with a minute left here on the clock, 1-1. One, one, should already be looking towards over time enough. Uh, this is true. Um, but yeah, this is follow up from these guys. We're not really seeing, at least off of what we're seeing of gameplay, right? Too much strong communication. Well, I guess it being like the first game of a, obviously a best of seven, they don't really need to do as much because they can sort of just test the waters here and then just put more effort into the future games after this because like this one this one could end in a loss for one of the teams if it ends in a loss then they know okay this is what we need to fix maybe that's why and maybe that's why blue have the sub maybe that's why they have the second top he might have a completely different play style so it's always going to catch people off guard if you've got that sub in there as well because they're going to perform differently to what the other players got before so and it's always I oh. say that, God gets a huge goal there from that with Catholic College. Eight here, straight off the corner wall, the setup from Tom Todd and Todd. That's what's about the end of the goal. He tries to stop it, but. 
with only 15 seconds left on the clock at that. So it's going to be very difficult for the Red Barons to try to make a comeback here. Not impossible. We've seen it done before. I think we've seen the quickest goal that we've seen was in uh, with five seconds remaining straight off kickoff. Yeah. And had to go into overtime. That was a few years ago now. And there's a demo there. I think they're just going to play very aggressive to sort of keep this in check. Yeah, now they're going to bounce it up. They're looking to see one more in, but... Two to one. That's how we're going to kick first things game. off here. That's a Catholic College. One and oh to kick off the best of seven series. And uh, yeah, they're going to get that one round win. It's going to be great for them to see. But as we mentioned, right, Dallin? Still a lot of room for these guys to honestly flex their muscles a little bit. I definitely agree with that. Uh, there's Obviously, there's going to be a little bit of like improvement to do for these next couple games, purely because, obviously, as we've seen, there wasn't as many follow-ups as we'd like to see when it comes to certain certain tactics there. But yep. that's obviously an easy fix right there. Just follow up. There you go. Easy fix. Yeah, uh, it's as simple as that. Simple as that. Quick, easy steps. Just like you, you, the opposition, don't worry about them. No, yeah. right. Just... Defense? What's defense? Nah. Get, get rid of that. Just follow us. That's all we want from Aggressive. you. Aggressive. Yeah. Non stop aggression. Yeah. But, I mean, you still bring up a good point because with that follow up, the boost, right? You've got to have that boost ready to go. Could we maybe see the teams maybe too focused on being like, all right, we just want to block down the midfield. We just want to take as much boost as we can. And then, oh, there goes the ball. Ah. Oh, there goes. Oh, I've just completely missed my opportunity to, to, for the next, what, 10, 15, 20 seconds. Yeah. To reset and get back into it. Well, Boost control is probably one of the biggest factors when it comes to Rocket League. Uh, no boost, yeah. no ball. That's there you fair. go. Someone's just going to beat you to him. What are you going to do? Cry. Well, that's what I'd do. Probably. Anyway. Yeah, I'd, I mean, I'd, honestly, yeah, I can see that. I can see that. <laughs> I'd cry. I mean, yeah, that's, you're in final, if that's the reason why you like regional finals. Oh, yeah, I'd just, yeah, no, I'd, I'd never touch the game again if that was the case. Let's go. Steam. Oh, I okay. I have uninstalled games for less, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> but kick off here, round two for our best of seven cents for now. Because we mentioned, there's a Catholic College going to be in the lead right now with a Monto advantage here. And while they're on blue side, you can already see St. Michael take the aggression here. Super Nazi Catholic College camp here. They've actually got a good rotation of what I've got here. And they're going to sneak Simple in as that. that. Oh. That was, that ball went at about one kilometre an hour. That was. Look at this, it was just simple. It's settled down. But that, that went in with That basically right. might be one kilometre in Rocket League though. That ah, two we'll, we'll never know. But that was that was very slow, that going in. The defence just, I don't think they knew how to react to it. Honestly. I like, mean, there's those slow shots. Yeah. A lot of teams, right, they're expecting it to be like 7 level speed, right? They're expecting it to be instant. When you get a slow ball that's kind of mid-air, but not really, it catches a lot of things. Even pro teams, it catches a yeah. lot of players. Yeah, it's, it's an awkward thing to go for. It's such a fast-paced game that you're ready for, like, anything coming at you with, like, your regular speed. And then all of a sudden, something comes at you slow. It's like, what's just happened? Your brain just turns to dial-up and you just... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, what's that coming towards the goal? Why did they get a goal? Oh, that was the ball. Oh, ah, that's, that's ah. just happened. But, uh, yeah, I mean, again, we saw this kind of last game there, right? They said Mark was get the first goal to keep it for a while, but now they turn around. They're just still plenty of time. There's still plenty of time. It's still a, it's another early goal from Barons. So that's what happened last game. And then, uh, you know, NCCA just came back with it. Just so it's got to be very interesting to see how this goes because, uh, okay, where's the, where's the defense? It's just blue controlling everything down this side. Yeah, I mean, I mean you can see these guys have a fair amount. Oh no, here we are. We're good. We're good. Please. We're good. 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 We're good.
entirely different. And Nazar looking for a huge shot there as well. That was two huge potential goals. This is denied by both teams here in the end. That was great control in the air coming out of one of them for the St. Michael's here. Two minutes seven left on the hook. High in the air. Skits is here, followed up by Golden. This is a skill that Aaron Blaze will talk about to watch out for as the series goes on. And you can see these guys are very slowly pulling out the, uh, all the strings out of the bag. Some very good defense there from the Orange team. Once again, some and then good defense from Blue as well. So like it's it's very back and forth this game compared to the last game. Last game it sort of looked like uh, Nazareth just took control at sort of the second half of that game. But this game it seems like Orange is sort of keeping hold a lot better. The Barons are doing a uh, playing a lot more aggressively compared to last game. But they're managing to maintain themselves, get that defense in. Todd with another beautiful save right there. Uh, and I just realized as well, I do believe that may be the second Todd on that team as well. We've got Tom Todd there. They just stuck, there's no way they just stuck going in. Just, we need to see the replay for this as well, because I don't even... He's on the other side of the field, that boost control. Remember what we said about slow speed goals? I'm at 107 kilometers an hour. Yeah, nah, when it's that close, 107 k. I yeah. I don't think you're really going to be stopping much. Yeah. <laughs> uh, are you sure? Are you sure well, I'll, I'll give it a shot, but... <laughs> I mean, they tried, they failed, right? And, and there you go, it's going to be the 2-0. It's still a minute at 16, though. There's still plenty of time for Nazem to bring it back, but... Straight away, St. Michael's are already on the attack. They are not letting Nazareth get past that halfway point in the midfield here. Skits with a ton of boots built up here at the moment. Had a teammate just fly straight over, but there's open goals here. There's going to be a big goal attempt for Tom Todd, unfortunately. The wrong angle touching the ball. Sadly, just missed that one. If, it, if he just think a little bit more to the left or right, whatever side it was, my left and right's are a bit skewed. I'm not the brightest spark, but he just gave that a bit of a miss there. And uh, so they just managed to capitalize, get the save on that pretty easily. And now it's just, as I said earlier as well, this is something that we've seen previously where that first game, it doesn't really mean much. And then the second game is a completely different situation where the opposition who didn't really take out that first game too easily, ends up just making a good comeback, applies that pressure and just manages to succeed with eats just like this it's 2-0 with 20 seconds right we've gone from one to one to one essentially almost full team play yeah here at the moment of course the problem with that when you when it starts getting like i said this aggressive is that you've got goals that can be a problem to deal with here yeah, but so Marcus don't seem to care they've just had that control all round oh. long and they sneak one in two seconds left here on the clock to bring it to three no just that's just rubbing it in their face at this rate. It was just unnecessary. Could have just let the timer run out. It's just... Wow. They're taking their opponents here. I mean, you can, I mean, they lost the first round, right? So now they're going to be like, right. Redemption. The first round. That's fine. We'll take the next one. And you don't give a single goal either in that, in that whole game. So sending a message. On yeah. The second round for these guys. And that's the second round, of course. Best of seven. Um, but one to one, yeah. In our yeah. Team. Very even game from both teams. So it's... It's definitely got to be interesting, like because the first game it wasn't wasn't really one-sided. It was like it was back and forth, except for that. You know, obviously they managed to get a goal up there, but it's very interesting right here, seeing what's going on. Baz going over the notes, getting some key information right here. Yeah, I was just gonna say Fred Valley here, just for context. Obviously, we announced who the players are. I'm assuming that is Swiper with a name change here. Because Golden City, we've got down Golden City Skits. And Swiper's the last player, different name. So I'm just going to assume that that's the case. But even still, three big goals. He's the one that's good with the goal. Still had five shots as well. He's lucky that as the Catacloves were able to be able to save these goals out. But as you can see, these guys make a close to the extended time, take a break, reset, communicate. Or around that game, okay, let's get organized. Where are we going to kick off? the first or our third round here. Who's going for boost? Who's going for the ball? Who's going to maybe for a demo play? It's all these little things, right, to start off the match that can dictate how the rest of the game can, can go if you can get that momentum, that tempo advantage at the start. Yeah, I guess it, once you get that first goal as well, though, your confidence sort of raises that little bit and you sort of, you can take those riskier moves without any sort of repercussions because you, you've got that thought they're like yeah i can do this i can do it again so i'm gonna do it again so they're like right here orange already playing very aggressive the baron's just going for us straight away and keeping keeping uh nazareth on their toes having making them defend with everything they've got so and this one was all last round for this guy as well it's oh. and it's still gonna work apparently there we go. because 
What's that? 21 seconds into the game. And, uh, first drop. Here we go. That. That. Wow. <laughs> that is dirty. Ah, <laughs> uh, look at the speed. <laughs> Todd will be snooping. Ah, oh, Todd, I'd be snooping. Off of that. He's going to have close he got to that goal there. It was, I think we should be touching it, actually, when that game's through. So that is just rough coming out. We're going to see who is shooting for me, Swiper. So we can go by that for Fred there. Um, Great right area. Yeah, very good. Now, I'm looking for potential open Ooh, goal. Luckily, there's very good defense. Two speeding red barons coming out of nowhere to stop that one and just crash very early on. Yeah. And once again, look at that. They're too busy around trying to fix some of that boost here because red barons have complete control. They're going off the back foot. That's a follow-up potential from Swiper. Unfortunately, a little bit too high. He's getting sneaking in. And he does. That was that. I, that's great against one of the defenders there of Magic Catholic I, College. Well. I think they went for it and just missed it right there. Yeah. Oh, I, I did it scrape the list. Uh, I think it was going in anyway, but even still, the worst feeling is when you still touch it. I would say about that mental state going in here. That that's is, huge. That was two goals in exactly a minute's time as well. That is quite impressive. This is. The Barons have brought it back. And they're bringing it back like, very hard as well. They're just, they're going all out for this one. I'm not saying there's a fourth round one here. But it's looking like that a little bit, isn't it? Like, <laughs> the, like, the, it's like the style of play is entirely different from round one. Like yeah. I said, yes, first round did is yada yada. Oh, and look at this. Play, he's getting ready oh. as well from, uh, what's that, halfway across to that three quarter of the pitch. Not just hitting, a full pitch. He's going to get the lead. A double kit to secure that in. A huge aerial play. Todd hit it, but again, he sent it in himself. It was going in anyway, but he played a little bit faster. Three goals now, 231. This is what we saw last round from these guys. Three goals by the end of the game, with two seconds left to go. This will take minutes enough. It's a bit rough at the moment for, for Nazareth here, though, because their defense was solid, like very solid in the first game, and it sort of seems like it's slowly starting to deteriorate there. Because that goal that they just got there, there was only Todd there to defend it. There was no one else there with him. If he had someone else backing him up, maybe they could have saved that one with a bit more ease. But it's just, see, it's just Todd just chilling in the goals by himself, just having a grand old time trying to save everything. You could even have a boost left, speaking of. So, I mean, maybe other members were trying to boost still on the other side of the pitch. The problem is, he wasn't happy to do that. He got open goals, like you mentioned. He's exactly. got one dude who's essentially been stuck on guard duty. Another demo right there as well. Yeah. That's actually big for Nash, so they need to get that. Now there's only two members to deal with for the moment. But again, we've seen the members of St. Michael's. They've gone with all the ball towards the pitch of Nazareth. They're still looking for one goal. They haven't got a single goal in the past two games at the moment. Yeah, which doesn't quite sound like much against the best of seven. But when the opposing team have had six... Yeah, your confidence yeah. can sort of... Your confidence can get a bit shaken over that as well, and confidence is a big factor in any sport. Uh, speaking of which, uh, just <laughs> come on, we just need one from you, Nazareth. Come they on, can't catch a break just at all. Yeah, and uh, I've almost stuck in another one, but luckily, Todd was there with his exceptional goalkeeping skills once again. And there we go, just some good defending coming out from Blue Side now, which is very great to see considering it was a bit shaky for, for about a couple minutes there. So it's good to see that they're sort of getting everything back in order. Maybe there was a lack of communication or something. We just can't really tell at this rate. We know we know the high school teams, right? But I think Todd needs a bit of a pay raise. I have to wait with a lot of those teams. I, I agree. He's, uh, he's doing a lot of work here, but that's 1.30 left on the clock here. We could be seeing St. Marcus run with a second round here. We talked about how that just had the sub. They've come to look towards one of those subs. They want to try and get a team refresh, a mental refresh. For some of these guys here, as we mentioned, six goals down in two games is huge. Especially when they can't even challenge for a goal here at the moment. There's open goals on the side of Red Barons here, but from Todd, the wrong angle, didn't have the boost of speed available. They still have There's the goal. we we'll finally secure Nazareth their first goal out of six in two games. It's going to be huge for these lads here. But they're still going to try and find two more with a bit of nine left on the Skit sadly jumping the wrong way there for a brief moment trying to save that ball and it just just messed him up a little bit there. It's a bit hard to determine where the ball is going to be at times though because you can hit it off one part of the car and it's just like, no, nah, we're going this way this time. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, 
the, the specific angles are either edge yeah. pad and so much in this game. With the middle empty on the clock, there was a potential set up there by Nazareth and Red Barons were there to stop it. However, good to see Nazareth have finally got control of the tempo here. They've finally kept the ball on the side of Red Barons. I say that, and they've thrown it back, came back, and gone back again. Hope they're going to get this back and forth here for the next 40 seconds of our third match. Todd's now once our proud goalkeeper. Now our potential goal striker, maybe? Maybe not. Lazy Donut looking for the set up there. Todd almost stuffing that one up there. Doesn't go towards the goals anyway. He's in terms of Red Baron as well, looking to secure it with 25 left on the clock for that final goal. Todd is definitely the mighty all-rounder for this game. He's everywhere. I don't he think I. He's literally everywhere. You're absolutely right. You blink, and then all of a sudden, he's he's defending for the opposition. He's there. he's literally everywhere. Like it's. I mean, he's in James Bond's DB5. That's oh, probably yeah, why. Most of his top of the power coming in three seconds. Ah. Again, why why have you done this one? This is the second game. So it's end of five seconds. So and Marcus just, are gone. That'd be funny. Yeah. What about oh. if we just what about if we just scored this one? I reckon yeah. that'd give me a giggle. Just stick this one in. Please just uh, secure that one. By the way, it's still plus three, like last game. And uh San Marcos he's sitting pretty happy, I think, at the moment after this one. Now two and one for the lads here. They are two off getting the regional final win, the nationals stage spot here as well. And uh, I mean, they're keen to jump straight back in here in Nazareth, though, considering their options here at the moment. Obviously, still want to think things through, see where they want to go. They still have that sub, potential sub, if they want to potential. be here in, in as well. It looks like we're getting that reset, but still got 30 seconds for these guys to properly reset. It's like, all right, boys, we're two down. That's fine. We won the first game. What worked well in the first game? How can we bring that into our fourth game? Of course. So Marcus Wright right, completely changed their play style, so it might be a little bit difficult to do that, but there must be something to take away from that you can bring towards this game to maybe seek in your own goals, maybe try and stall out Red Barons and uh, fuck them out. Yeah, it's going to be very interesting to see how this pans out because it's. I think Nazareth sort of need to take a break, take a bit of a breath and just sort of reevaluate everything going on because, I mean, having just Todd there by himself having to defend can be can be a bit rough for him because he's got all that pressure and then he's also trying to push up to get those goals and then he has to sort of it's just got to be very difficult for them so they just need to reevaluate everything that's going on make sure that they sort of can test the waters a little bit more against the opposition just maybe bring in that sub if they've got the sub there readily available he might be able to throw them off a bit with his different play style so it's, it's just going to be interesting to see how it goes down and uh, yeah, it looks like that's what's happening. We're going to get that game reset happening here at the moment. It looks like we'll be having a short break between these two teams here for now. And uh, I, don't know, I guess it makes that question. Maybe they are looking forward to having that sub, having that mental reset here. But how are we looking at it from St. Michael's point of view? They've just gone two games, with huge victories. And uh, now for the side of, of, of well, for St. Michael's, let's see, that's just go, no, no more games. Halt. Here. So, I mean, that right there, just having that brief break for Nazareth could be big as well because they could have the opportunity to sort of reevaluate everything that is going on and sort of let them relax a little bit, maybe gain that confidence back like they did. in that first game was big for them. That first game, the 2-1 victory is obviously going to be big all the time. So it's going to be very interesting to see how this pans out. Hopefully they can solidify themselves another win and can manage to get it to that seventh game. Because getting it to that seventh game, it's it's everyone's going to be under pressure, so everyone's going to be at an even playing point, I believe. So, fingers crossed. Yeah. And that, that's the thing as well. Like we can look at it like, oh yeah, look at Saint Michael, they've got this advantage. But you can also look at it as, yeah, they had, they had this advantage, but now that you've got a reset, a lot of that momentum you can keep bringing into like next game, next game, next game, kind of disappears a little bit, right? Yeah. You, just, you still you still on the minds of the enemy team. Don't get me wrong. You're definitely still on the minds of the enemy team. But oh, if they look towards the sub, which we're hoping they definitely do, that can mess with the guys St. Marcus because they've gone, okay, there's a sub here. Why is he brought in? What is his play style? Exactly. Can he affect what's happening? We saw what Todd's done, how much work he can do. He's going to be another Todd. We have to deal with two of those on the field. It's hard enough to deal with one sometimes. Yes, it's just sticking the goals in, but there's a lot more that could have got through if Todd wasn't there, right? So it's those little things where you've got to be worried about, especially if you've not done much pod review where it's kind of like, 
how can they fit in? Yeah, it's it's going to be interesting. Maybe it depends if the sub's there or not. So the sub might not even be there. He might just be on the list and he might not have been able to make it today, but we'll never know. We'll just have to find out, I guess. And uh, with that, guys, we are going to go to a very short ad break here, guys, as we're getting ready for the continuation of this amazing best of seven set. As we mentioned, of course, St. Michael's one round up here on the likes of Nazareth Catholic College, two to one here. It's a fantastic set. And we hope you stick around to continue watching all of the action. While we do so, go check out that form we talked about earlier in the afternoon as well. You can still do that here for that PAX VIP experience with yourself and a mate of yours if you're able to to fill in that form and of course have that great one-on-one -on -one experience with one key member from the legacy esports team either a pro player or a pro streamer so check out that form it's going to be available in our twitch chat to go and check out and go fill it up while you're waiting for the continuation of this series so guys back into a short moment with the continued action here for the meta south australian rocket league regional finals here back into a short moment